generally feel like it's gonna get hot in this. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd post a back to school video because everyone's going back to school and college in September. So, wanted to be relatable. A lot of you have requested how to get through your first year of college. Got to take this off. Ooh, that's better. Got my notepad here, which is why I've got my glasses on, my spectacles. Well, they're kind of giving me a headache looking at... It's the same time. How do people do YouTube and wear glasses at the same time? Tips on getting through tip number one. Oh my god, that's like your old head teacher, isn't it? <laughs> so, you're going to college now. Let's educate you. So, college. There's a big difference between college and school. The social side of it is different. The work side of it is different. The daily routine is very different. In college, you're literally just in college for your set lessons. Sometimes you can have literally, you can have between one and three lessons a day. Most of the time, you'll only have two lessons a day. There's one day, um, on my, there was one day on my timetable my first year that I literally had one lesson and that was it. That's all I came in for. Obviously school, you'd, you was there for the whole day. College, you're literally there for just your lessons. So you could be in for an hour and a half and then you can go home and that's a whole different routine. Bearing in mind your lessons could be at any time of the day, you might not have to go in till half 10 or you might not have to go in till, um, I don't know, um, you have a 9 a.m. one or um, half 12, do you know what I mean? It can really differ. So your body clock routine is gonna be everywhere at first. My advice for getting a normal routine would be getting up at the same time every day, which sounds really stupid, or picking one day, where, one or two days where you allow yourself to have a bit more of an eye in, um, but kind of sticking to the same time, getting up every day, whether that's half seven or eight o'clock, um, because your body gets used to it and you can get more things done. It's quite good for motivation, productivity, and you just kind of get used to like a, a routine because in college, there's not a routine, so you kind of have to make one. You are studying less subjects. Even though you're studying less, the next, um, kind of difference is that you are studying less subjects so you could be studying three A levels, two A levels and a B tech or just a B tech, you are studying less however that does not mean that the work is less either, the work is actually more, I quote more. As I said in my last video GCSEs will honestly seem a breeze to the work you'll be doing in college, it's completely different. In the education system it's the biggest transitional gap Whereas A level in university, apparently there's not so much of a big gap. Yeah, the social side, um, making friends. So my advice when you go to college is not to go to a college where all your friends are going. Um, you just want to go there because your friends are going. Obviously, local is convenience. However, look around for the best college for your course you want to do. Definitely go to a college where you feel comfortable. Um, it feels kind of like home. You can see yourself being there, being happy. Some, um, don't follow everyone else on where they want to go, just pick for yourself individually and um, you'll naturally fall into it. When you get there, talk to everyone. If you do go to a college where you have gone with your friends, do not isolate yourself to just that group. People aren't going to approach you if you're in bigger groups. Um, not because of a bad reason, just because people um, feel more vulnerable reach out to other people don't just wait for them to come to you if you wait for them to come to you you might be disappointed because one of you need the confidence kind of make the first move to talk to each other make sure to branch out and talk to everyone in your classes and get to know them get to know other people's friends um just people you walk past smile and say hi things like that like you'll like i went to a college where i literally knew one person um it was one of my guy friends and I literally knew no one else got in at all. And I took the transport of the college bus that runs kind of from a road near me up to the college. So I got to know people initially on the college bus and then eventually from my classes, other people's friends. Um, and it just got to one big massive group that we all hung out in. Definitely talk to everyone, don't be afraid. Everyone is literally in the same boat. So don't be afraid to talk to people because you'll be surprised how quickly you'll make friends at college. Even though I did say in one of my videos, you can't really mess around A-levels um, or waste a year, you definitely can't. I would say allow yourself like two or three months to settle into your college, look around, see what college has to offer, whether that's study periods, um, any free resources, extra revision lessons, um, you know, clubs, 
what else and what else you can do to occupy your free hours there if you're stuck there or if, um, when you learn to drive you can go home or if you can get a lift just learn and kind of set into your college see what they've got maybe try out the gym settle in get to know people get to know the college before coming down hard on, on yourself going on to studying you have to have after you've settled in my advice would literally be the first year and I wish I'd done it quicker make a revision timetable so i would say anything any small thing you've learned in your lesson that day go home do half hour and revise it so it sticks because chances are when you've left that lesson and you don't revise it again it's not going to stick it's literally going to go in out gone my advice is to just go over it when you get home um, and revise it in a way that works for you college requires lots and lots of independent study you literally will have three yeah three of your lessons so i take biology so i have three biology lessons a week that is only four and a half hours of that subject a week. It's a lot less than you probably would have in school. And then the rest of your, obviously, free periods that day, you can, it's up to you how you use it. Um, and my advice would be to use it wisely. Put some time aside for um, hanging around talking to mates and then put some time aside for going home and revising or going to the library and revising. Lots of people decide to dismiss the library for some reason when they go to college. Don't, it's ever a reason. There is so many books usually in the library, um, a lot more than it was in school. That's really helpful for your studying. Um, you can always borrow a book. They've got computers that you can freely use. So I would advise visiting the library more than once a year. With your independent study, use your free resources. Not um, Unlike school, you can't just go to your teacher at the end of the day to get help. They might not be there. They, might just have, they, they also have set lessons for that day where they can just go home after or stay in the office and do work. So um, unless you plan with your teacher, you unlikely will be able to get their help when you want, um, unless in advance, or unless you email them. Use your free resources around you, such as like YouTube videos, ask your teacher what books and um, the best books are for your course, buy them. Apps on your phone, uh, what people advise online, use all your free research from your courses that you can. One thing in my um, kind of like classes that we like to do is all my classes have a um, group chat on Snapchat. So if we need help on homework, it's there. I've got something from class I don't understand. People that help. I like both. I like to do some independent study and study with someone. So my advice as well is to get a study partner for the year, which can be in your year, or ask for meet someone from the year above who's done the first year to help you out for the first year. Complete all your work given to you. If you're someone who doesn't like to do homework, your reputation's gonna be mixed. <laughs> it doesn't give off a good impression if you're not doing the homework ever. It's not like school where you get detentions, you won't get detentions. In my college it's called a cause for concern. After a certain amount, you have to have a meeting with your parents and then I think the stage two or stage three is like um, suspending you and then removing you from the college. So obviously you do not want to go down that road. Sometimes when you're settling into your first year of college, you forget that you have marks at the end of the year, which determines if you can go into your second year or continue the course. And obviously it determines some of the grades that go after your uni, so if you're going to uni after. Remind yourself what you're working towards. Remind yourself that you want good grades from it and you're getting your qualification at the end. But I would just say enjoy college, get involved in things, talk to people, organise yourself, organise your bag, know what lessons you have. Yeah, I think that's everything. That's everything I have written down on my pad here. So thank you so much for watching this video. Click subscribe down below if you haven't already. That would be really good. Um, like, smash this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Another video. Bye and good luck at college. <laughs>